Mrs. Scott, hold on to the buck. That's good. Oh, my name is Joyce Scott, and I'm here to see the opening and premiere of my daughter's film tonight, and um, I'm excited about it. And she, she spent time in Africa, and and she stayed there for like six months this last time. And she's also expecting my grandbaby, a little boy, and I'm super, super excited about everything I am. No, she couldn't come, but I, I almost bought some pictures of her, you know, while she's expecting and all, but we better let her kind of rest because she has a big job to do. And it's scheduled for, September, for what is it, April the 25th? That's when the baby should be coming. I'm Alexander McCall Smith. I'm the author of a series of books called The Number One Ladies Detective Agency. And I'm here this evening in Philadelphia to attend the screening of the first, the pilot uh, film in that series, uh, starring Jill Scott, who actually comes from Philadelphia. And so this is quite, quite a moment for me. I'm, I'm delighted to be here in Jill's hometown. Coco. Coco. Dumelama. Dumelam, I need some stamps. I'm sorry, we are a detective agency now. So you don't have stamps? No. Obviously every author is always worried when he first hears, he or she hears, that a film is going to be made of the, the books and you, you wonder how they're going to do it, is it going to be, is it going to reflect what's in the book? Because sometimes movies have absolutely nothing to do with what you wrote in the books. But in this particular case I'm very, very pleased because uh, I knew that the uh, whole project was in the hands of a very fine director, uh, Anthony Minghella, who unfortunately died after the uh, pilot was made. But uh, they have uh, made a very, very fine series. And so I'm very pleased with it, and I'm delighted with the performance uh, of Jill Scott, Annika Nonny Rose, and Lucy Nimsamati, who play the three main characters. In this imperfect world, I was only able to locate two typewriters and both have problems with certain letters. But I sincerely hope that between the two machines, you'll be able to type every word you need. Is this the 21st century or did I slip without realizing into a time warp? What are you talking about? At secretarial college in history class, we were told of a former time before computers when typing was done on machines and our country was called Bichwanaland and dinosaurs roamed the earth. I set these books in Botswana, actually, and uh, Botswana um, is a country in which I have lived. I, I live in Scotland, but I have lived in Botswana, and uh, I'm a very, uh, a very great fan of Botswana. It's a remarkable country, and I, I very much like the people there. And I didn't think uh, that I would end up writing quite as many books about Botswana as I ended up writing, but I, I wanted to portray the positive side of Africa because Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa, gets a really rather disappointing press. People look at the problems uh, that are involved in Africa and they tend not to look at the positive story. So that's what this is about really. It's about that positive story. Uh, there's entertainment as well, yeah. I mean, I, I hope that I'm not preaching to anybody. And of course, you know, I could have set these uh, books anywhere. I, I set my books in various countries. But I, I think it was, it was right to set this particular series in Botswana because I wanted to write about a particular sort of lady that you get in Botswana who's got these great qualities. And so Mara Matsui is a really very, very nice woman, a very kind woman. And uh, I must say that I'm delighted that they found an actress who actually strikes me as being rather like Mara Matsui in, in respect of her qualities. Uh, Jill Scott is a very modest, nice woman. What, what have you heard? I know lots of people have seen Oh, I, I heard at one point, I've seen some of the commercials on television where she said, I'm made of tough stuff. And she is, indeed. Because it was something very, very hard for her to do, being pregnant in her first trimester and the temperatures of 115 degrees. That was indeed a quite a big task for her. I did write earlier on, I wrote quite a number of children's books and short stories before I started writing these novels, but I became a novelist uh, later on, and uh, I must say that uh, I, I enjoyed that, and, and what I'd say to your, your viewers watching this is if, the, if they feel that they want to write books, it's never too late uh, to write a book. Uh, so I, I just encourage people to, to, to do that, and I always encourage people to persist. Don't give up because it's quite tough. 
writing a, writing a book may be the easy part, getting it published is the difficult part, but I just say carry on and, uh, and, and work at it. I've written ten books, the nine books have been published and the tenth book is about to come out. So in making the series they've, they've taken plots from throughout the, throughout the series and there's still plenty of plots left in the series if they want to carry on and make another series. Any final thoughts? It's just that I love her and I'm just so excited about that grandbaby. That's what's happening here. And as far as the movie is concerned, I'm hoping that everybody enjoy it because she really worked hard at this. I'm Alexander McCall Smith and you're watching Real Black. My name is Joyce Scott and you're watching Real Black. I like the mom thing. <laughs> That's it.